Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's Scribbles with Sam. I'm Sam and today I thought I would take you through one of my old journals. This one is from July to December 2023. Um, and this is basically how I was journaling before I decided to switch into the Hobonichi Cousin, um, which you guys have seen me journaling in that before. This was definitely like a much more creative outlet for me and I do kind of miss it like I really had fun with it but I definitely did not journal every day and my goal is more so to journal every day and document something every single day um, which is what the Hobonichi cousin keeps me on track with and this just kind of I picked up whenever something happened um, so yeah this is a moleskin notebook it is an Alice in Wonderland note not Alice in Wonderland, Wizard of Oz, The Cowardly Lion um, edition. So it's got like a quote on the back and just the lion. And when you open it up, you also have uh, some artwork on the front and in the back as well. So you can see it's chunked up quite a bit. It's completely pulled from the spine. Um, and that's because I added so much stuff in here. But uh, let's just get right on into it. So the first page, I guess, is this page, which I didn't do anything with. Um, so basically what happened when I started this was I made a cover page, but then I realized that the pages are so thin that I would, it, Ashby, that I would never be able to use this as my journal, the way that I journal. So pretty much I glued every other page together um, and there are some instances that you can see where it's peeling up, probably. But I glued every page together to actually give me um, the thickness that I need in order to be, like, super heavy with markers and writing and sticking stuff down. Because these pages were so thin, they were just not durable whatsoever. Um, let's see, it says, my first page attempt at a page didn't go Gluing, page gluing didn't go well, and gel pens take a while to dry. Um, just some random stickers I had. And I started this in July, but I put June, which doesn't make sense because I promise you I was not, I got married on June 17th, so I know that I did not journal this on June 17th. Um, but essentially, yeah, I just started doing stuff. I was into my Kindle, so my old Kindle glitched out on me, so I had to order a new one, so I got a new one. There's my cat eating my book. This is the day that I picked up my marriage certificate, um, so I could actually start changing my name. Uh, this is still name change process. At this point, like, I'm doing things daily, six, uh, 15th, 17th, 18th, 19th. Uh, it quickly goes away from that, don't worry. This is my old driver's license that I just glued in here. This is a sticky note with the social security office's address on it that I just covered just in case. Um, I think it's kind of cute underneath. Yeah, underneath that's like a little princess and Prince Charming. These stickers are all from Sticky Club. Um, and the washi tape is from Sticky Club, I guess. Let me look. Let's see, this is from a little sticker booklet on Amazon, Amazon washi tape. I print photos using my HP Sprocket. Um, this day we got our purple mattress. We got a king size bed because apparently I take up too much space when I sleep. Um, so I just ripped off the first page of the manual and journaled a little bit. And it's super dark red because the dude that was setting up our bed cut himself and was gushing blood all over the apartment, which was just awful. So that was memorable. <laughs> Um, here I went to go see Wicked at the Fox Theater with my mom. We go pretty much every year, so that's always a favorite memory. Here's the front page of the playbill. This is my Barbenheimer spread. Pretty proud of how this one turned out. Um, these stickers I've had for forever. No idea where they're from. Um, and these are all little ephemera bits from Amazon. One of those like ephemera packs on Amazon. And here's a great example of the book does not hold up. If you can see that, Ooh, there you go. Like it's like completely ripping at the seams. But I really like, this is one of my most favorite spreads that I've ever done, for sure. Barbenheimer was such a fun time. Uh, 
uh, there's me and my husband when the our tro the tropes thing was going around um, Instagram. I thought it was cute and I wanted to do it, so I did it in my journal. Uh, looks like I'm about to go back to work, so I had the Sunday scaries. Bought a planner for work. Eh, I kind of use the planner for work, not really. Um, this is my first broken binding subscription. I just kind of journaled a little bit about what the book was. These stickers are from Sticky Club. Um, and then Welcome Back to School. Just stickers. I think these are from the Antiquarian sticker book, which I need to use more often, honestly. Let's see. The Haunted Mansion had like a premiere and we got pins. So we went to the premiere and it was cute. Um, not much to say on it. I like the original better. We went to a friend's baby shower, so I just copied or pasted that in and journaled a little bit about that. I remember doing this like days later, like days later. Like I had nothing to say about it because I was like so behind. Um, current mood, this is my playlist that I was listening to. Falling in Reverse, Crown the Empire, Memphis Mayfire, Bad Omens, A Day to Remember. Um, and I fucked up my headphones by spilling stuff on them so I had to have my husband order me some new ones it's just my pickup receipt for the headphones uh, we went to a Braves game it looks like and bought some stuff there probably yeah, more pins I really like collecting pins and just had a good time with our friends um, we always get just like dirt cheap tickets when we go Let's see, this is the pamphlet from the Illumicrate, my Illumicrate subscription, so I pretty much always glue that in. Um, it just tells you like what you got and about the book. And then this was the Evernight subscription, so I just taped that in there as well. Uh, this is about the special editions of the Roots of Chaos book, or um, you might know it as the Priory of the Orange Tree. I'm a big fan of that book and I missed out on the special editions, but they uh, came back with some leftover stock and I was able to get it uh, within, let's say it says 30 seconds of it going live and it sold out in under four minutes, but I did get it and I'm very thrilled that I got it. It's one of my most prized possessions for sure. Um, and we have my birthday, we went out to eat, we went to the pool, we had a pool party at my uh, home. And then this is just a bunch of stuff that I bought. I got a shirt, I got stickers from Novel Grounds, I got a necklace, um, you know, just all sorts of things there. So, let's see. Um, clearly, I have a spending problem. Another special edition book that I bought. Um, I get most of my special editions from either Illumicrate or The Broken Binding, and this is anytime there's like this sticker or this paper, it's from The Broken Binding. So, Got my hands on the memory called Empire Duology, um, which I need to stop buying special editions, y'all, but I cannot help it. Um, I just bought some yesterday, so <laughs> doing a great job, doing a great job. Um, school has been hectic and busy with volleyball. I don't get home till late. The kids don't ride the bus home back with me, so that's me just like by myself on the bus and a picture of my coworker who also has that same issue. Um, we went to an Atlanta United game, so they had this new, like, 404 graffiti shirts, and I just kind of copied that down. Um, this is just, like, a collage catch-up of everything that's been going on. Um, this edit of the Trump picture, like, literally cracks me up. Oh my gosh, this is, like, peak humor. Um, I got a dumb bitch book club sweater, Monopoly Go, still is taking over my life. Um, the streets are completely flooded by my house because of a hurricane, it looks like. Um, and I love those little Instagram games where it's like tap and hold and see what you get. And obviously I took a screenshot of that. Here I made the decision to finally try going back to college. This is... Oh, I've been putting off this decision for years, but this was exciting. I finally decided to go back to college. I did not date these. I didn't date any of these. People always date your pages. Um, I have no idea. I really didn't date any of this. I'm just not realizing that. Well, that's awful. Um, 
Well, this is September 2nd, so this is around September probably. Uh, I made the decision to go back to college and I'm applying to GSU. Spoiler alert, I did get in and I do go to Georgia State Online. Um, I went to a state park with my family and here's a perfect example of my glued pages coming unglued. Um, that's just what happens when you use a glue stick. But I'm just gonna fix that while we're here. Um, yeah, these pages are so thin that I had to glue every other page down. And you know what? It worked out really well for me in the end. I will say that. Let's see, I got these cute little spider earrings. So this is the package and I just drew the earrings on them. Got some pictures, had lots of fun there. Another Illumicrate. I got the August pamphlet glued in here. Um, my friend got me a Rutgers hoodie and I, not me panicking about running out of space. So like my letters look squished instead of normally spaced out. Um, uh, yeah. Um, I got this washi tape from House in the Cerulean Sea in my Illumicrate subscription. So I just wanted to swatch that. Got a bunch of pens that I wanted to squat, uh, squatch, squash, swatch in here. And I got a purple pen. And if you know me, you know I love purple. So there's that. Uh, looks like I went shopping at Target and tried to doodle the plates that I got. Uh, saw Bad Omens in concert. All of these stickers came from Sticky Club. That was a fun night, but I did completely bust my knee and it still hurts to this day, so that's fun. Um, oh look, I dated something. September 8th. September 10th. Been really obsessed with watching planner and journal content on YouTube. So much so that I bought a 2024 Hobonichi Cousin Han and the Cats cover. Heck yeah, you did. Um, sticker skeleton. This is a big sticker from the Antiquarian sticker book. Um, I'm at the point where I'm journaling just to journal. Well, you know, such is life. <sighs> oh, I remember doing this page. This was the design on my nails, and I was like, well, let's make that the background. And then I hated how it looked, but that's fine. That's okay. Um, today I learned how to score keep for volleyball. That was fun. I actually really enjoy score keeping for volleyball. Um, having a bad day, it looks like, trying to just, you know, pull it together and, you know, I'm doing a good job and that's that. Tried to fix my feelings by buying stickers, hit up the clearance at, and Halloween sections at Michael's and I spent like $84. Yeah. So I got this sticker book. It's one of those Happy Planner sticker books. I think it's like the Mykonos theme one. Um, I know I got some like Sweet Kawaii sticker books, the, all of their Halloween washi. Yeah, I love the clearance section of Michael's, especially for those sticker books, for sure. This is the pamphlet from my Hobonichi Han, and I just put all of my stuff in here and said it arrived on the 14th. And this is like when all of my orders started coming in for planner stickers, so... I've got, you know, just like my Mandy Lynn plans order that came in. This was like around the same time as like the Planner Boss Collective sale, whatever it's called. So I placed like $200 worth of order uh, sticker orders on that day. So they were starting to come in pretty much right around the same time as my Hobonichi. Um, let's see, back in my PS5 era, started playing some games, and then I kind of, like, journaled about, like, gaming versus reading, like, which one you gonna pick, because you can't do them at the same time, kind of awfulness. Y'all, I'm just so, so tired. So effing tired. That's just me all the time. Uh, it's my friend's birthday. Um, we went to an Atlanta United game, it looks like. This was a vision board that I made at work, but I don't have a color printer at work, so it's in black and white, which it doesn't look nearly as good as it did in color, but that's fine. Um, happy Sunday. Let's see. It looks like we went to a brewery and a pumpkin patch and, you know, did some Oktoberfest stuff, which is fun. Look, I'm a cow. <laughs> Another Illumicrate with, like... A little thing probably just packaging that it came with um, and then we had senior night for volleyball and we had like scripts of all of the info for the girls and what they wanted to do and their favorite quotes and where they were going to college yada 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 so I just kind of glued all of that in 
obviously I covered it up because they're children. Um, but this is just like Amazon sticker book, Amazon washi tape, all that great stuff. And yeah. Um, my first ever corn foreign, foreign currency exchange. Um, cause I was going to Barcelona. So that was fun. Memorable. I got about 400 euros out of the bank. Um, fat bear week is like my favorite week of all time. Um, and they also have a fat bear week junior and I completed the bracket perfectly. Um, I chose 806, 806 won. And I felt very proud of that moment because I was absolutely correct. And I love being right. Um, let's see. Saw the new Saw movie. These are my favorite movies of all time. Like these are my favorite horror movies. So obviously had to dedicate going to that. These are all antiquarian sticker book stickers and this is printed with my sprocket. Uh, looks like just a ranting session. I just needed to vent about some things right there. Um, we went to go to out to eat before my trip to Barcelona because my husband wasn't coming with me and we played music bingo and it looks like I went on this round right here. Um, I think we got some free beer and some pint glasses out of that, so that was cool. Um, just some more, what's it called? Order packing slips, order receipts, that sort of stuff when stuff comes in. Um, and then this starts probably the most exciting section of the book. This is my Spain trip. I went for four days and uh, did so much stuff. I got this tattoo in Spain right here. Um, we visited La Sagrada Familia, we went to a flamenco show, we went to Parkwell, um, and saw the tiled lizard, we ate lots of food, lots of really, really good food, um, yeah, it was such a fun trip, oh my goodness, I had a blast, yeah, Ugh, such great memories, um, these are from Michael's, I got a set for my upcoming Iceland trip. Also, they are puffy. You can make them not puffy. Like, this definitely sticks out, but like, I don't care that it's puffy. Um, for using these in my Hobonichi Cousin, I might depuffify them. Depuffify, that's a great word. Um, but I got a pack for Iceland too, because we're going soon. And I've just been hanging on to it since like a month before this spread, honestly. Um, yeah, and I think it just really adds to everything that's going on here for sure uh the next couple pages are all receipts from the airport to the duck store i got this cute little cow duck from the duck store yeah um there's a map uh this vegan rush they had lots of vegan options there which was insane they eat so well overseas let me tell you this is from the flamenco show that we went to. I got my husband a Barca jersey. Uh, I tried McDonald's, which was crazy because they had way better McDonald's and way cooler options. Um, our hotel, luggage tags, plane tickets, all of that's just glued in here. Um, I think it's more plane tickets. Like these didn't even print well, but I was determined to have them printed so I could use them. Uh, let's see, this is, was our hotel, and this was the beach that we went out to on midnight the last day, and there's a little restaurant out there, and then this is another part of the map where I just circled a bunch of places that we went. Um, yeah, I really like the inclusion of these maps in here. And then the last spread is for my tattoo that I got. It was just a walk-in tattoo, and there was definitely a language barrier, but he killed it. Like, he did exactly what I wanted him to do and it's like my favorite tattoo that I have. So, super thrilled, and I love getting to say that I'm internationally tatted. I would love to get one while I go to Iceland too, but I am a chaperone on that trip, so I don't know that I'm gonna be able to have time. <sighs> Anyways, great Spain memories. I love having this so I can see them all. And on this day, we went to this hiking trail in Atlanta that has creepy art all throughout it, and, um, yeah, there's just some really creepy stuff. Like, there's, like, dolls and, like, weird art things. I don't even know how to describe it, but it is spooky. Spooky, spooky. 
um, Assassin's Creed Mirage came out, and I played the crap out of this game. I Assassin's Creed is my favorite video game, so when the new one comes out, I'm like, oh my god, and yeah. So a whole spread dedicated to this. This is all from a Happy Planner book, I believe. Um, Lauren Phelps Design order came in. Uh, my C. Amy Draw order came in, and she gave lots of fun vinyls, and I didn't know what to do with them, so I just stuck them in here. Uh, Friday the 13th, I got two new tattoos. I got two knives, basically, and I want to get a third one on this side with Jason's mask, I think, is the plan, but we'll see. Uh, da, 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 the 2023 Georgia Apple Festival, I just kind of pasted in the map and the schedule and added some pictures to the map like we saw cows like look at me and the cows um yup oh here's fat bear week here's my bracket for fat bear week and you will see that i had a perfect bracket again i predicted it 100 percent, which i'm so proud of and this is our queen queen grazer won the whole thing i love her god bless this is an exciting page because I got my acceptance letter to Georgia State, so I printed that out on my sprocket and put that in, and I'm just excited because I can't believe I'm going to college. Oh, well, you know, don't be so excited now. I'm freaking exhausted. But just a journaling page. Uh, these stickers I've had since my bachelorette party. Like, we saw some random dude on the street, and he gave us some inappropriate stickers and it was hilarious, but I have no reason to use these stickers for anything. So I figured it was high time. I just threw them in my journal and called it a day and that's what I did. Um, here's some more random stickers that I had. Most of these again are from that dude. Let's see, leave me alone, weekend plans, not shit. Good job, Sam. Um, it looks like I finally decided that I was going to place an order with Coffee Monsters Co. And I added every single emoji that I wanted to my order and it was like over $200. And I was like, oh, never mind. We're not going to do that yet. So I think I waited till she had a sale. Um, Happy Mail. I got this like sticker, planner sticker kits from this Etsy company. Company. Yeah. I thought it was cool because she came from, it came from France. Um, super tired it looks like. I got my October Broken Binding, which was the Powder Mage Trilogy. Kept the sticker, of course. Um, let's see, I think, oh, while I was in Spain, Hunter got to go to his dad's work, and, oh, so I, like, journaled this, like, 20 days later, it looks like, which is fine. I mean, better late than never. It probably was that I had these stickers, and I was like, I need to stick them down somewhere, because... When am I ever going to use these? Um, so we got some cool plane stickers. Saw his favorite plane. Love that. Um, got my GSU student ID card. Obviously, I went shopping because I needed a hoodie, right? Um, it's weird being on campus because it's in a city. It's like in the city if you've never been to Atlanta or Georgia State or you don't have something like that. I don't know what the colleges are like out of state, but... It's, it's in the city and it's, it's weird for sure because I didn't go to undergrad in the city. I went, um, more in suburbia, it felt like. So it was very weird being there and it's very weird knowing that I probably will not be back until I graduate because all of my classes are online. But yeah, um, my October Illumicrate, my adorably Amy Designs receipt invoice came in and I put all of my monthly kits in. Do uh, Novel Grounds had an Ammo Jones Prince release, so I bought those. Can't help myself. My October Evernight. Um, oh, this was a sad, sad weekend. Uh, Chandler, not Chandler, Matthew Perry died. Um, that was awful. And uh, so did Adam Johnson, who was um, a hockey player who died when his skate when a, someone else's skate hit slashed his neck so I don't know I'm trying not to say that very grossly for some people because I don't know how you guys deal with stuff like that but two very very sad deaths that day or that weekend um oh it's my husband's birthday 
We did lots of stuff for his birthday. We went to a Hawks game. We went uh, out shopping. We went to breweries. We went to Crog Street. Oh my God, I remember this drink. This drink was freaking disgusting. So freaking gross. And it was $18. I was so pissed. <sighs> Anyways, um, Halloween. I don't remember. Oh, I got this because our apartment complex did like little blue bags for us. It's like little Halloween candy. And so I cut the bag and just taped it in here. Kind of like a little overlay situation. Um, don't think we did anything for Halloween. Except for probably watch Halloween. And that was it. Oh, and we got the jack o lantern pizza. Yep. Mm -hmm. November 2nd. Looks like I got my first ever Mandy Lynn plans sub. Um, apparently I was using the word obsessed a lot. OMG, apparently I'm obsessed with everything. I'm not obsessed with the fact that I tested positive for COVID today. <laughs> so dramatic, Samantha. Oh my gosh. Uh, my best friend's birthday. Um, still COVID. Lots of COVID. I, yeah, we were sick for like two months straight, so it was pretty awful. Um, they arrested the dude who skate touched Adam Johnson for murder. Um, interesting, interesting day for sure. Ready to be on Thanksgiving break. Um, my students non-stop ask me for candy since it's hollow since Halloween because I got them all candy for Halloween and now they won't stop asking me for food. Um, let's see, just a ranting session. Date night, looks like we went to the Fern Bank and they had like some dinosaur stuff and there was a Viking exhibit that I was really into. Um, yeah. Oh, and then I went to Tennessee with my mom. Uh, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, our friend wasn't able to go to the game, and so she gave me the tickets for free, which was so, so nice of her. And so I took my mom, and we went to the game. We lost, but such is life. We went to the Big Dolly Parton Head. We went to a bar afterwards. Someone left a scarf behind, and I snagged it, even though I'm not a Preds fan. I like free stuff sue me um but yeah um hunter and i did like the adventure challenge box i ordered the bone season 10th anniversary this is the same author from the pride of the orange tree thanksgiving this is like all happy planner stickers and we took our christmas card pictures here lots of fun stuff how long is this video oh my god i've been talking forever <sighs> Uh, let's see, family was still in town, so we just went out and about, so I got lots of pictures from that weekend, we went to a winery, went to Topgolf, I saw cows, um, my phone finally crapped out on me, the GPS literally would not work, so I just sucked it up and I bought a new phone, and this is the phone case that I got. Um, this is covered up because it, it's, it's pretty bad, but it says, at, whomever reads this, I'm sorry, and I don't want you to read it, so I covered it up, but I was having a very very bad day and I said some pretty rough things in that so I covered that up for um everybody's safety <laughs> basically um Mandy Lynn plans subscriptions in here let's see oh we went to the Travis Scott concert which I thought was just okay I was expecting way better especially because of like you know how everyone talked about Astroworld but like it was fine it was fine and if I never hear, hear the word fiend ever again in my entire life, I'll be happy. That's all I have to say about that. Uh, I saw the stu new Studio Ghibli movie, which I thought was very lovely. I liked it. Um, I just love their movies in general. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. I don't know what this is about. Um... Got my November broken binding. Asked the more I am on the wait list for tier one subscription. And I am number 261 in place as of December 12th. Which is crazy. It'll probably take me like at least two years to get to tier one. Which is fine. It's fine. There's only 1,500 spots available. So that's how that works. Okay, sorry about that. Um, my husband came home and I was like, please don't say anything weird. I'm filming. <laughs> Uh, let's see, we went to the Atlanta Chris Kringle Market this day. Now we're getting into the Christmassy stuff. Um, just some journaling, nothing special here. I started opening my Mini Limb Plans Advent Calendar this day. I got my Coffee Monsters Co. 
order packed by Jan. Thank you, Jan. Um, I think this is my Black Friday order. Yeah, that's when I placed my order for all of my stickers from her. Because I wanted a sale. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh, it says I spent two hours organizing the emojis in my reusable sticker book. That's... Yeah, tedious, but annoying and totally worth it, I feel like, honestly, because I don't have to look very hard for those stickers anymore. Um, finals week. Let's see. I got my, opened my box, just journaling. Um, finally on break. And this is where I kind of stopped doing daily things and was just kind of like stuck and stuff in here. So like sometimes I'm like really into the daily thing. And sometimes it, it goes quite a few days before I journal stuff. So, like, this was all daily, pretty much, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. This was all, like, daily, and then, then I stopped doing the daily thing for a while. Um, played Alan Wake 2 with my husband. Here's all of my advent calendar stickers. My December Illumicrate flyer pamphlet thing. Um, my husband built a PC, and so I was playing Planet Zoo on his PC. This is a sticker that I got from the Atlanta Zoo. Um, Thursday, I made my very first pumpkin pie ever, which tasted so good. Oh my gosh, it came out delicious. I'm so proud of myself. Um, yeah, um, here's the wrapping paper that I used for Christmas this year. I got it from Target. Um, we went out to eat for Christmas Eve, and... I just kind of listed all the things that I got for my husband and what we did for Christmas Eve um, because we did our gift exchange on Christmas Eve because we travel a lot for Christmas Day. Um, so here's Christmas Day and just my Christmas Day spread. These are all uh, Sticky Club stickers it looks like and some pictures. Here's his computer that he built and the canvases that I got him. I got him these cat pants that match our, uh, with, our, with our cat's face on it. What is that? Oh, the slipper incident. I'm not going to talk about the slipper incident, but there was a slipper incident. Um, here's what I got for Christmas from everybody, from Hunter, from my parents, from everybody else. and just really trying to use up these stickers, honestly. Um, met my friend's cats, and they are two freaking cuties. Look at this face. Oh, there it is. Like, look at that. She's adorable. Um, and then we had our friend's birthday, we went out for his birthday, and then it was Happy New Year, and we had a great New Year, and that was it. Like, that's the end of this da, da, da. flip. There, there's some stuff in the back. I think it's all stuff that came with the notebook. Let's see, anything else? No. Um, so yeah, this is like the little info pamphlet that came with it. The quality card that comes with it. Oh, I got some Alice, or I keep saying Alice in Wonderland. It's not Alice in Wonderland. It's Wizard of Oz. I don't know why I can't remember that, but there's some Wizard of Oz stickers in here, which I love, and they're green. So fun. Um, and then this is like a little, I guess, dedication to the Wizard of Oz notebook that they had made probably at least that's what I'm assuming it is and so those will go back there and I'll probably forget about the stickers all over again and that is it for our July through December 2023 flip through I have a couple other books that I can flip through for you guys but I will save those for other bonus video Saturdays um if you're interested in seeing those or like the video don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one bye y'all